This is the beef knuckle, sometimes known as ball of the round, sirloin tip, round tip. It's a very lean, four muscle piece. In this video, we're going to separate the four muscles. We're going to cut steaks from the bullet, which is the heart of the knuckle. And we're going to do beef strips and diced beef from the rest. There will be some trimming left over. Uh, we won't use that in this video, but we will use it to make stock in a later video. So first take all the loose membranes from the outside. Then find the seam, which is very obvious, pointing it out there with the knife. Run the knife along the silver skin. Use the silver skin as your guide open up the seam to separate the two muscles. Use your fingers to pull the meat apart so you can see where you're going. But if you stick to the seam, you can't really go wrong. Remove as much of the meat as possible close to the silver skin, the seam, and you will have separated the, rum, the knuckle heart from the knuckle. You are now left with the wedge muscle and the femur muscle. The femur muscle is at the top of the picture and the wedge muscle at the bottom. So. Take the femur muscle, there's a fair amount of connective tissue and fat and you need to skin all that off. So keep going until you have all red meat, any white or silver has been removed. This will go into a pile of trimmings. This can be used for a cheaper mince ground beef or it can be used for stock. Uh, we will do that in a later video. We're going to make a stock using marrow bones and meat trimmings. Remove the silver skin. A good sharp knife, very important here. Just get right under the silver skin and pull. And then cut it into cubes. And this will be beef for casserole, beef for kebabs, beef for stew, beef bourguignon or any dish that requires cubes of beef to be long, slow cooked. Removing the membranes, removing the silver skin, removing the fat. There's a, a long piece of silver skin between the two sections there, remove that. If it's not red, take it out. I've been doing this for a long time, so I can do it fairly quickly. But if you're new to this, if you haven't done it before, remember that knife is very, very sharp. So you don't have to hurry. You're not in a hurry. Take your time, do it carefully, do it safely. Now, this is the wedge muscle. This is a really nice muscle. It's a, a little bit dense, uh, so Best if this beat was hung for 14 days or longer before you work on it. That gives it a chance to mature and to tenderize. As before, trim anything white away, but you go tight to the skin. Don't leave lumps of meat if possible. a very thin membrane on the outside of the back here so get your knife underneath pull away 
and as you can see there's very little meat left behind a very thin skin there trim it as tight as possible but as I said be careful these knives are very sharp so you can see the direction the grain is going so what we're going to do is we're going to cut across that grain This cut is across the ground and I'm going to do some thin steaks which we would call minute steaks because they take one minute to cook. Hot frying pan, hot oil, hot dripping preferably. Throw them into the pan a minute each side and you're done. Make beautiful sandwich steaks. In this instance we're going to cut them into strips. And the whole point is cutting across the grain the long fibers you cut across them so you have short fibers which makes them so much more tender and you end up with a stock of beef strips for stir fry cut your vegetables to approximately the same size onion red and green yellow pepper carrot even into very thin batons makes a fabulous stir fry the carrots give some lovely crunch this is the rump, uh, sorry, I keep saying the rump. This is the knuckle heart. Uh, it's got a layer of membrane around the outside, but take this out. This is a really nice muscle. There's some lovely steaks to be got from this. So skin it all over, tight to the membrane. If it's not, uh, if it's not red, take it off. knife under the membrane push put it back to you forward then back Now you're just clearing the little bit of grizzle on the end to give you the entry point for the silver skin because there's a, a, a very fine layer of silver skin inside this muscle. You can see it appearing there. So run your knife along. Use the knife, uh, use the grizzle layer as the template for your knife. Stay close to it and the knife will skate along it. And then when you've got that done, scoop it out. Now you've got two really nice muscles here. So just trim off the end and cut steak. Press with the palm of your hand to flatten out a little bit and you'll get about five, maybe six nice steaks out of this piece. And the other side of the bullet, really good for stir fry. Uh, you can see the grain is running from right to left. Open it up. Take it that little layer of fat in the middle. And slice thinly for stir fry. This meat, when you're cooking it in a stir fry, it doesn't take very long. It will all be cooked. In fact, the vegetables take uh, the vegetables take longer to cook. So, start your stir fry with the carrots, followed by the onions, then the red, green, and yellow peppers. Uh, then add your seasoning. Then add your meat. The meat only takes maybe two, three minutes to cook. When it's so fine and so thin. If you overcook it, it will dry out. Nice and steady.
you can do this with the bigger knife or you can do it with a, a chef's knife but I like this five inch boner I just feel very comfortable using it I use it a lot now we're back on the 10 inch steak knife and we're going to cut this uh, piece the wedge into diced beef for a casserole This beef is going to get a long slow cook of maybe up to two hours, possibly even longer. Um, it doesn't have any fat. Um, these days that's what customers want. Personally I like a bit of fat but funny enough I don't like it in a casserole or I don't like it in a stew. I like it fried or I like it roasted but it's not so nice in a casserole. So lean beef is probably the way to go here. And there's the last few pieces of the knuckle. Just finish this last piece, take that little membrane off, trim it down, chop it into small pieces, and that's the beef knuckle. Fantastic.